Next up, go back to Google and type in Code Push React Native. At the time of this recording, the second link here, titled Using the React Native SDK with Code Push dash Visual Studio App Center, click this link and it's going to take you to some installation and setup instructions for Code Push for React Native. This is your best resource for up to date installation information with Code Push for React Native. I'm going to be mostly following this documentation during the installation and setup. In this segment, we're going to be installing the React Native Code Push NPM module. In addition to installing the NPM native module, there's also some native modules that we have to set up as well for both iOS and Android. We're just going to be following the documentation step by step. So to get started, go um, in an existing project, navigate to your root directory. I have an existing app called Tag that I use. If you don't have an existing app, feel free to make one with npm init. So first verify that you're in the root directory, which I am. If we go back to the documentation, we're going to run this command, npm install dash dash save react native code push. So I'll do npm install dash dash save react dash native dash code push. And hit enter. And we'll go ahead and let that run. Now, if we go back to the documentation, unfortunately, we're not finished. This uh, NPM package requires an installation of a native module for both iOS and Android. 